don't hate Taylor Swift, but I don't like how she's not using her platform to talk yes! about Palestine. Yes! I bought something. What'd you buy? Something really cool. Gross. Can I be honest? Uh, I'm about to have an asthma attack. Really? Are you? And I don't have my inhaler. Wallahi. Wallahi. Welcome in, Habibis. To another episode of the a Raps Podcast. This is the Super Bowl Valentine's Day special. And, uh, we didn't prep for it. We didn't prep we for forgot. either of them. <laughs> we I did. I got my Valentine's Day nails, so. You got your nails done. You, mm-hmm. you deserved getting your nails done after the after the week you had, yeah. to be honest. I was trying to be frugal, but I'm like, you know what? It is what it is. Those are going to last you. A, a month. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I got this nail after you. It says ew. Ew. It has a tumor on it. Do I have a tumor? What are you trying to tell me? <laughs> You're dying. I'm dying. <laughs> it says ew. You're the cancer of this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Frogan, uh, you tell us about your insane week because Frogan yesterday's <laughs> Frogan's month or what was it? Two weeks? My entire life at this point, I feel. So eight days ago, I got in a car accident. Yes. As you guys recall, she... Didn't go to the doctor whatsoever. She just suffered through it. Concussion. Concussion. Uh, my internet has been hitting the fan. Monday, I had to get a new internet service provider. So Tuesday, I went to the building and my car battery died. And I sat there for like an hour and just questioned my entire fucking life because apparently my emergency roadside service expired two years ago <laughs> through <laughs> Nissan. Um, so then I called my insurance, insurance doesn't cover it. So then, uh, I could still book it through them. So I did. And that was a hundred dollars to get my fucking battery, uh, jumped. And then he was like, drive around for 30 minutes before you turn your car off. So in that time I went to Taco Bell because I was really sad. And, uh, if you are concerned about the state of my mental health, I've had Taco Bell every single day this week. Yeah. But we mean, we nailed down the Taco Bell order and it's worth it. Yeah. I mean, the other day I got it and it, they didn't grill it and it made me want to die. Frogan often will just call me, not, not, maybe not call me, but she'll, whenever we have a conversation about anything, she'll just be like, I'm going to throw up. I'm going to throw up. And this is why <laughs> you have a very strict you, diet you do that of just all the time. refried beans and bad Taco Bell. <laughs> And you're always like, my tummy hurts. I'm you like, shit well. yourself a lot. I wish, dude. I've been constipated. Yeah, me too. Well, what the go. fuck? Dude, I've been, I think it's the weather. Have you been constipated? <laughs> I've been moving like every three days. Dude, same. I feel like I'm a fucking rabbit. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> like, not even the Taco Bell's Are you constipated? No, I'm good. I don't know. I'm good. All right. Text me next time. Uh, okay, go ahead. Go ahead and uh, finish. So I, so I got some Taco Bell, and then I went home. Uh, and then streamer bullshit happened that I'm not going to talk about that was really fucking irritating, and it still irritates me. Mm-hmm. I'll probably talk about it in, like, next month. I might talk about it in the Patreon episode. <laughs> <laughs> no, please don't. I might just start talking a bunch of shit in the Patreon episode. Please don't talk shit in the Patreon you know episode. I it's think we'll talk shit in the Patreon episode. If if other people can do it, we're I can gonna, do it we're too. We're not going to name names in the Patreon episode, but I will talk shit. That's my platform to talk as much please shit don't. as possible. Okay. So, and I thought the streamer shit was just like the icing on top. I was like, mm-hmm. you know what? It's a bad fucking week. Mm-hmm. We'll move on. No. It continued to get worse. What was the icing? <laughs> I don't even know at this point. So two days ago, I was streaming and I saw somebody walk like near my apartment door and I thought it was a package and I opened the door and it was a random guy and he ran back. Mm -hmm. I tried shutting my door and my door wouldn't lock. And then, yeah, I was debating whether or not to run to my setup and show chat me dying or figure out a lock and i i locked it well the way you said it is you didn't say what he was doing oh he was peeping through my window <laughs> yeah that's insane <laughs> she was that far she's like there was a guy near my door and i ran and locked it i'm like no no he was he was she looking said, yeah through. and then she's like she was like i put my whole body weight against the door and i thought i was gonna go over to chat and just tr- turn the camera to the door so they could see me struggling Die. and i was like why i was like what are they gonna do for you the, listen they said <laughs> I, I asked them i was like <laughs> hypothetically if this person broke into my apartment what would you guys have done and they said they would have spam called you guys yeah but here's the thing i don't talk to my viewers like that 
don't, I don't answer just random calls from I people. Do. But if it was like repeated, you wouldn't be like, oh, like what the fuck happened? No. He's an insane person. If 50 people called me at the same time, I'd be like, why are 50 people calling me on Discord? Or no, pinging man. you or anything? Ignorance is bliss. It's my life. Oh, but I didn't know because I was I didn't look at the text. So I wouldn't know. So but, so this dude's looking through a window and then Frogan, you catch it on cam. We can add the clip. Oh, yeah. The yeah clip. Add the clip. It's coming clip. right here. Yeah. Ew. Chat, I'm not even fucking around, dude. They're looking through my window. Look. What do I do? She's like, yeah, he was blonde hair. I was like, that's not a blonde hair, dude. That's a black guy. He had dyed blonde hair. <laughs> he had dyed blonde the way, hair. The, the way yeah. she said it made it seem like it was some white guy with yeah, blonde I know hair. Yeah, the way she made and it. I was like, no. I was like, no. I was like, was he wearing a mask or something? And I, I don't think he was, but he and when I finally got the door shut and went back to my setup. He started looking through my window. Yeah, that's insane. That's really creepy. And then maybe he's a fan. He's like, oh my god, I don't want. It, I don't, don't even joke about that because like, I don't want to move. Moving yeah, sucks. Yeah. Um, so then Capri made me file a police report. I I think police are useless. Sorry, like all the well, time. They're useless. In for no, sure. they're useless everywhere. Well, there you go. Um, like every time I've had to call the police in my life. Useless. Yeah. Useless. Yeah. Useless. Not not very public servant of them to be. I had were, they, were they helpful this time though? Hey, they were actually really nice on the phone. Were they? Yeah. They were what, like. What they say? Uh, we'll send a description uh of the guy to like, the radio shit. broadcast, they didn't do and shit. then if you see him, call the police again. Yeah, they didn't do. This. I know. So they I'm like, what? But they were nice. They weren't. They sent a description to the radio broadcast. My, that's fucking bullshit. Yeah. That that's that's police code for. <laughs> All right. Yeah. We're not going to say shit. I We're putting wanted, out an APB for guy in window. The- <laughs> Black guy in hoodie. Yeah. What's the, the APB is going to be? Wild. We're going to catch him. We're going to get that son of a bitch. Did you tell him that? They, did you tell them that he was blonde? Yeah. I see. That's what did it. Frank Ocean is on the. <laughs> Frank, Frank Ocean, Ocean is looking into your apartment. I like Frank Ocean. I like Frank Ocean. But too. then it, like. I don't know. I that made me really uncomfortable. I couldn't really sleep the next day mm-hmm. or the night. And then um, the next day, I got my nails done because I was like, you know what, my nails are broken. I deserve to treat myself. And then after getting my nails done, I treated myself further to a shawarma because I've nice. been craving chicken shawarma. Yeah, and mental illness. Mm-hmm. I mean, the kebab shop is like a franchise in California, and I thought it looked really good because they have like that nice. Yeah. Was bread. it good? It's kind of mid. Can I be honest with you? A lot of California food. It's mid. mid. You would think they'd have good fucking food since it's like a, a Everywhere I've taken you guys, you guys, mid. it's no, it's not. Mid. No, it's not. Sababa mid. is not mid. Sababa is the exception. Yeah, Sababa's good. It's one restaurant. Oh, Dude, I'm sorry. You need to other... have that shit fresh. I, I've never had it fresh yet. Oh, and it's always been like mid. No. With it not being fresh, I didn't want to tell you guys to break your heart. It was like, all right. No, you could have been honest. The first day it hit, the second time I had it. it Did you have well. it fresh so far? Never. Okay. When you have it fresh, it's not It's not mid. All right. It's not mid. All right. And Any, then, anyways, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. I, I, was, I was about to go like fist to cuffs with the rap right now. You can you can finish your story because it gets really close. Can I be honest? Uh, I'm about to have an asthma attack. Are really? you? And I don't have my inhaler. Are you really about to have an yes. asthma attack? Well, this is great. <laughs> um, yeah. We're going to give you a little bit of a break here. Are no, you really having an asthma attack? I really right. am. I'm okay. going to have an asthma attack. It's fine. Uh, Can you I'm, do anything? I'm, aller- <laughs> I'm allergic to dogs. Um, Can I go get an animal? <laughs> like- they, might, they might have one over the counter at CVS. Okay. Scoot's um, gonna go get an inhaler. We're gonna keep. I don't want to die. No, we can't keep filming the. Pod. We're gonna keep no, filming we can, the pod. It's we're gonna fine. See what it's happens. fine. Um, the pod in, uh, someone's had a timer on their phone in twenty. In twenty. No, in. Are you okay? I'm good. Are you? Are you, if, are you sure yeah, you're I'm okay? fine. If I if I don't breathe, I will have an anxiety attack. <laughs> in, so it'll. In fifteen minutes, someone just needs to get okay. up and reset the cameras. Just turn them off. No, no, no. Turn this one off the cameras. No. <laughs> They're on the cameras. No, I'm fine. I'm oh, fine. Wait. No, I can just... Here. No, just I, just I, reset I, I, them all. Yeah, I'll just reset them all right now. All right. Now. Uh, great. So I'll set a timer for 30 minutes then. 25. 25 minutes. 
Okay. So to give you to give you enough time. Yeah, that makes sense. Way. That makes sense. I can't believe you're dying on our podcast right now <laughs> for the content. Dude, I'm, my face is. You don't need to die for All content. Good? All good. All right, great. All Are we right still now. recording? Yes. We're still recording right now. So I decided to treat myself to. <laughs> why do you, <laughs> why do you look so concerned? Capri's gonna have a panic attack too. She's good. I'm great. She's her. She just got to breathe. Calm down. She's good. Listen, you freak out is gonna make me freak out. Yeah, don't freak out. Okay, We're all chill. Have... Be like me. Be like water. Be chill. <laughs> Be like water, dude. You dress like water today. You look like a fucking. What's your problem with the color blue, dude? I love that blue. I think. It, I think this. Oh, hold what... on. I'm so sorry. What's your fucking deal with blue? I just don't like it. You just don't like the color blue. No, he, I just. He's just mad that we kind of match and he doesn't. No, can you put your shirt back on? <laughs> no. This is what you wanted, right? Yeah, fine. We're... I see some fucking white. Some, some, some... Dude, we did, not, we did not color correct for your white ass <laughs> arms, dog. You did, actually. You're lucky. Yeah. Like... You ready? Let's fucking go. I'm sorry that I'm the one being distracting here. <laughs> I love thumbnail. We killed one of our guests. or We killed the host. This has been great so yeah. far. This has been a great run. <laughs> Six episodes deep. Okay. Tell us the... Uh, okay. So you so you pulled up to the shawarma place, and then what happened? Kebab shop. Kebab shop. Uh, yeah. It's kind of mid. It's okay. It looks it looks better than mm -hmm. it actually is. Okay. Uh, so I wanted to treat myself. I'm not going to eat in the restaurant alone like a fucking loser. Mm -hmm. So I am going to sit in my car. Mm -hmm. And I'm sitting in my car. I'm in on a neck deep kick, so I was listening to Neck Deep. Oh yeah, well, and I love Neck Deep. Yeah, and then I'm I'm on up in my sandwich, and I see this guy pull up to me, and you don't really think of anything, but what caught the corner of my eye is the fact that like he like he well he jacked his seat back to like a lay down position. Okay. Mm -hmm. And I obviously look over, and then I see him putting his hand in his pants, and I'm just like, what the fuck is happening? And the thing is, it's not like I was like in the back of the parking lot. I was like at the fucking front of the parking lot. <laughs> like he was right in front of the kebab shop. Yes, he was being his meat next to the meat. Oh, dude. Yeah, I mean, I understand like shawarma sandwiches are like phallic, low key, but like, what, what if that's like his? I didn't think about this once you told me the story. What if that's his kink? Like he loves. But what if he's the sauce supplier? Ew. What did you do? <laughs> <laughs> what if he's the supplier of sauce? <laughs> No, tahini it does look like that. It was it was that garlic. <laughs> Speaking of sauces, though, like the guy in the restaurant judged me for not getting any sauce. The guy judged you. I mean, yes. tell tell him to be like, "Fuck you! You got people jerking off in your parking lot." He's <laughs> like, he's like, "Don't forget sauce." I'm like, "I'm good." He's like, "I'm like, what I'm." What do you mean good? He's like, "What the fuck is wrong with you, you sick freak?" I don't Asthma want any having motherfucker. Stop! <laughs> it's because you're a fucking dog. <laughs> So what happened? What happened? Uh, you can't make fun of a dying person. That's crazy. This is the last moments I have with Frogan. <laughs> I just, just... want to let her know that I love my dog. Okay, <laughs> if my dog kills you, it's the best way to go. Do you know what it's like having a tight chest? Yeah. No, I don't know, but I have a tight ass. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so no, that's no I got a tight chest. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> You're, everyone's about to hear some fucking whistling in my microphone. Oh no! Is it gonna? Would you, would you, is that from your breath? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I told you I can't fucking breathe. Oh my god! So, anyways, some guy jacked off next to Frogan, and then, and then did you didn't leave? You just pulled out. You I watched. Up. I liked it. Yeah. Okay. Well. No, I, I. So I texted my mom. So basically, my mom. I guess she could sense something is wrong with me because she's like, "Is there anything happening that you're not telling me?" I'm like, "I'm being real with everything." So then I text her and she's like, uh, I hope you went home after that. And I was like, no, I stayed and watched. Like, obviously I fucking, well, I didn't go home. I just moved parking spots because I wanted to eat my sandwich. So I just sat in the parking lot. That's the most insane thing that this asthma attack is insane. But what's more insane is that you just moved a couple rows over and yeah. just continued and to eat Yeah, and then a fucking sandwich. weirdo white ass van pulled up. I'm like, am I about to get kidnapped now? If I got kidnapped... <laughs> Don't call me. <laughs> Don't call me. I'm not gonna answer. If I got kidnapped at this point with the week I Why'd had, why'd you look at me and laugh? Wait, I just realized because something. I heard myself fucking breathe into the mic, and I'm just like, 
This is so ugly. I don't hear anything. I hear it. It sounds like she's dying. You're fake. Can I, can I tell you something? What's I'm more breathing insane? like scootish right now. Yeah, you are breathing like scootish. <laughs> You're breathing like scootish eating fucking chicken. Don't, want, head. don't make fun of him. He's literally going to save your life right he, now. He is. But also, I just realized something. He doesn't have a car. How did he go? He, he walked. Just, he walked. Oh, he walked? He ran? Why, why didn't he just take my car? <laughs> I, just, <laughs> <laughs> I, just <laughs> my car. <laughs> I can see him in full sprint oh, running. Like, I gotta go. <laughs> he's like, he's like, Froke, who needs an inhaler? <laughs> just bust in. They're like, they're like, sir, who the fuck are you? He said, Do you have a prescription? He's like, no, I'm here to save no, my life. No, they, they have over-the-counter albuterol inhalers now. Oh, do yeah. They? Yeah. Uh, For situations yeah. like this where you're dying, I thought I had one with me, but apparently I didn't. You just ca- I never seen you use it the entire. I didn't even know you have asthma until this exact moment. Um, my asthma is only triggered by my allergies, and I'm allergic to dogs. My dog would never do that to you. That was someone else's dog. That was definitely. See, I'm usually good. I just need to like not touch my face around dogs because okay. I love animals. Like, I love dogs. I'll chill with them. But if you touch your face, you probably did. I it's left like you. having a disability. Is that wild or what? Dude, I, uh, I'll i talk about... I feel so bad right now. Broken's dying. I feel fine. She's Do good. You? Okay. Nah, either she dies or she lives. It's a 50-50 chance. We have to accept I think, fate. I, you know what? Podcast, podcast watchers, you are watching someone's last breathing moments or not. I, I think Raph know. hates me this week. I think he's manifesting my death. I'm not manifesting anything. Well, you kept talking about how you really don't want to live anymore. This is a good way to go out. At least you're doing it on the pod, something you love. <laughs> <laughs> she did. She died doing what she loved. <laughs> hey, yo, this is me doing broken <laughs> hey, hey yo, we could have ended the pod. We could have saved her life, but she wanted to die and go out doing what she loved. She had a bad week. <laughs> she ate Taco Bell every single day that week. Also, we never figured out what was under the hood. <laughs> Nobody knew. What? No, not that way, dude. Don't not like the hat. The hat. Not that way, not that way, not that way. Stop. Not no 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 no. Anyways, so uh can I tell you So about, if you were the one watching us uh, and jerking off next to Frogan, put a comment down below. Yeah, that was you. And if you're if you're the one that looked into my apartment, please don't come back. Please. Yeah, that was really creepy. Can I tell you about my experience with the dog before we get into our big mm-hmm. topic? With the dog? Yeah. I yeah. went to uh, I took the dog out to a, a brewery the first time. And a dude came up to me and he was like, hey, man, he was talking to me about the dog, blah, blah. Then he was like, started telling me that dogs are racist. And he's like, hey, man, you don't want your dog to get racist. Yeah. Well, yeah. What do you mean? Yeah. Don't look at me like, yeah. Your dog you- hates Muslims. No. Okay. That's true. But that's that's Islamophobic. That's not racist. The, the thing is, uh, the dude comes up to me and he's like petting the dog. He's like, help. Everyone was really helpful at a brewery. They had other people's dogs. It was really cute having Miles play with other dogs. He was excited. He had a good time. But then, like, halfway through, this dude comes up, and he's, like, petting the dog, and he's like, hey, man, like, yeah, take your dog to a brewery, like, every weekend, so he gets to know other dogs. And he was like, just because dogs, like, you may not know this, but one of our trainers, and he, like, names the names, like, Miss Cecilia, you know? And I'm like, I don't know who the fuck that is. He's like, you don't you don't train with Miss Cecilia? I'm like, no, I don't, I don't know what you're talking about. And he goes, uh, yeah, I she's great. I hate California. She, she, wants, uh, she wants, you know, she wants your dog to meet 150 people because dogs, if you don't, like... She, all shapes, hair, sizes, they can get racist. <laughs> dude, this dude, I was, I had Miles in my lap. This dude's petting Miles and having a conversation with me while he's standing and he's looking at me and he's a big dude. He's like, dogs can get racist. Yeah, we really don't want Miles to hate like Asian people. That'd be, no, that'd be crazy. No, he made it sound like he did not like black people. Like the way he said it, he was like, he's yeah, like, yeah, you want my like- dog doesn't like black yeah, people. That's what he was saying. My dog really doesn't like black probably, people. He was a nice man. He was a nice man, but like he didn't know he was talking to like an Arab dude. I think he thought he was talking to a fellow white, you know? And he was like, and he was like, yeah, dude, you just don't want your dog to get racist. You want them to play with other shapes and size hairs, like curly hair. Like he basically was describing black people, but he wasn't saying it. And I'm like, he's like, cause they can get racist. And I was That's like, insane. it was an insane conversation. I was like, I don't think he meant like the guy was very nice. A hundred percent. I don't think he meant. Can it. you be nice and also be racist? Yes. I've. I've experienced it before, and it's like the weirdest like yeah. dynamic ever. Dude, there's so many nice racist people out there. There's so many nice racist people out there. I used to uh, canvas for Planned Parenthood, mm-hmm. and I locked myself out of my car, and these like racist as white people let me sit in their house, and I thought I was gonna fucking die. Well, but they were they so say? nice. They were just they were like really fucking nice, but like 
they were like conservatives as fuck because you could see like who's conservative and who's Democrat by their they, house. No, because I had a database. Oh, oh yeah. I thought you were like, like looking around in their house and you're like, oh, that's no. that's swastika up there makes them. No, they I may be a, conservative. I had a database. <laughs> I had a database. It was like it, the <laughs> database, and there's also a conservative database. Yo, have it's, you ever looked? It's the same. Have you ever looked at the? database around your address yeah i don't like looking no at it. i don't want to look i don't you know, want to if, know if i get diddled i get diddled and that's just that's that's the surprise oh of it you know yeah i don't want to know i don't want to know I, I just don't want to know i haven't looked in california yet we're not gonna, Are you gonna look. look it up no don't look it up i don't, no, no, no. don't want to know it's really gonna fuck me up I i'm don't. sending scooters a picture of the inhaler there's I one that lives under capri's basement he's <laughs> he's dead now it flooded down there but you mean the rat no, no, no. I mean, maybe. Not the physical I feel rat. Like it, Frogan is literally like fighting for her life on this spot. She's fine, dude. You know, after this, we're going to the Super Bowl. Speaking of the Super Bowl. Mm-hmm. Did you see Taylor's ass? No, that's insane. <laughs> dude. <laughs> is that, what the, is that no. where you wanted to go? No, I didn't want to say Can that. Can we talk about how it's kind of stupid that Usher's... The halftime show. Yeah, it's really bad. I don't like. I it. don't understand. Like Usher was relevant. What? Like fourteen. Baby tonight. <laughs> no. Usher's doing Super Bowl halftime show. He's irrelevant to people your age. I like Usher. I like Usher too. Millennials. I like Usher. He was he's the forefront of a lot of music. I'm sorry. Who was the, who was last year? Let's be honest. Who was last Rihanna? year? Doctor. Rihanna. No. She relevant. She made it. She made a song this year, this decade. But it was a good show. It was a great show. But was she relevant? Yeah, she announced her fucking pregnancy. Yeah, she that's not relevancy. Pregnant. That's 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 not music. She just had a relevancy. baby. And she just she was just on tour, I think. And, and she no, did, she did she, no, Miss Girl gave up on music. She does makeup now. Exactly. Oh, that's what I'm saying. Smart. She she has smart. one. So exactly, that was anticipated she has Fenty, because right? she yeah, has... Fenty Beauty. Okay, mm-hmm. you know why Fenty's tight? Because they did all the shades. They did every they did every color because fucking beauty lines before they didn't have shades for, for fucking dark people. They didn't have shades for black people. They didn't have shades for Arab people. Yeah. You know? She did all the shades. She broke it in the thing. She made a fucking boatload of money. She don't need to make music. But why is she the fucking halftime show is what I'm asking. Because people know. have been anticipating music from her. So um obviously people are gonna watch. Stop. <laughs> I just keep thinking about it. Fucking Star Wars, fucking Darth Vader when she talks. <laughs> That's so rude. I'm sorry. Just treat her like a normal person. You really are ableist, dude. That's so fucked up. She's like, Rihanna. <laughs> <laughs> She's not breathing that hard. She's chill. Feel, it's chill. I feel. I, I, you're wait. You are. You are. You want me to freak out in this situation? Yeah. I no, think it's that, all about being chill. I think chill. the thing about like this. This podcast is like the two devils on the Frogan's shoulder. Raph is like the one who's like always like, it's going to be good, dude. It doesn't matter what the situation may call for. Like, and I'm the one who's like neurotic. Raph is the opposite of like. How many times have you gone through this situation? Uh, The last time I had a really bad asthma attack was 2019. Oh. So, uh, yeah. What's every No, but like how often, like how many times have you gone through like not having an inhaler, but having like on the verge of an asthma attack? So the last time this happened, I had to go to the ER. The last time it happened, you had to go to the yeah. ER? <laughs> I'm less calm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm less calm. And I had to get steroids. Oh, that's why you're so jacked, dude. She's ripped. We should just, oh, okay. It's fine. It's fine. I'm She's good. She's fine. She's good. If I wasn't good. We would be at the ER right now. Yeah, exactly. Like, I'm talking. You can hear my breathing slightly sometimes, but we're chilling. Fucking dogs. What, Fucking were, we, what were you even talking about? Rihanna. We are talking about the halftime show, about how Usher, <sighs> irrelevant. So I don't understand. He just came out with an album, I think, Usher. Who, who the fuck is listening to that album? I, I think know. they pay to be on the halftime show. You think I, they I, pay for I, it? I think, I genuinely think they pay to be on the halftime show because it's such good promotion for them that it's it's stupid for them not to pay for it. Mm. I think I agree with you. Because, okay, he has that residency in Vegas and yeah. it's all fucking millennials. Mm-hmm. Listen, if, name a song that he's released in like the last 10 years that's like popular. 10 years? Mm-hmm. Baby, tonight! That was in 2014. That's 10 years. That's 10 years. I said that was in 2014. Oh. What year was that? I don't know. I was like looking at his music yesterday. Okay, because he has like, oh my god. You know what his music reminds yeah, Justin me of? Justin Bieber. All I can think about is if Justin Bieber comes out at the Super Bowl, he might. I'll kill myself. He might. <laughs> well, you don't have to. You're gonna. You die. They're, gonna <laughs> sing, they're gonna sing. What is he gonna do? What song are they do together? I just need somebody. 
Somebody to love. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Here's the deal about Usher. Okay. I love Usher. He's amazing. But again, every time I hear him, he's just hookah bar music to me now. <laughs> <laughs> That's what <laughs> Usher is. <laughs> Usher is prime hookah bar music. Every time I go to a hookah bar, they're like, <laughs> they're like, bah, 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 and the fucking smoke comes up. That's Usher. That's Usher to me. Don't say smoke. She's going to have an asthma attack. <laughs> I mean, even, I mean, listen, we smoked uh, hookah together how many times? And I've been chilling. Twice. No, Frogan doesn't smoke hookah. Frogan no, she it. sucks the tip and nothing comes out. Yeah, and she goes, <laughs> yeah, she goes like this. She goes, and then we're like, good, she. <laughs> we're like, good. Yeah, she good literally job. goes like this. doing it. Shut up, man. You guys are so irritating. <laughs> And then she's like, she's like, I've never done Do this before. Do you see before. any smoke coming out of my mouth now? You know what? Let me hit the vape. <laughs> you know, no, you're dying. <laughs> Froga thinks that's an inhaler. It's not an inhaler. <laughs> you're going to die. Don't laugh too hard. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah. <laughs> yeah, no jokes for the next 10 minutes. Let's, yeah, yeah, let's go. Yeah, hey, be very nobody serious. laugh for the next 10 minutes. No. So I don't think Usher's good. If I was going to do you a half You said you love Usher. <laughs> I love Usher. I don't think he's good. I don't, the truth comes out. Stop laughing. I love him for hookah bar music. Stop laughing. I can't. You're being serious. I think we should bring you two back. You two? You two the Bro, I remember when the they fucking Bowl? invaded the iPhone uh, music? Yeah, yeah remember I when they made an iPhone? iPod? <laughs> remember when they made an iPod for just you two and they just put their album on there? You couldn't delete it yeah, back in the day? I still can't delete it. You can't delete it. It's still there. That's literally what I just said. Yeah, that's literally what she just said. I just don't listen to her. I can't yeah, hear her. Yeah, you can't hear her over the sound of her dying. <laughs> I literally just said that and then you repeated the same fucking yeah, thing I think you're talking about the iPod if you're talking about something else. The red iPod, I remember. The red iPod came out back in the day and you'd get the red iPod and it would be like the U2 version, which who in the fuck? Why is U2 always like the company like the company uh one bono dude everyone fucking, uses they're brandable it. they're the most brandable i think like the ball the ball in vegas the sphere mm -hmm. it's just you two that's the only band playing there yeah like why you every company they're like fucked who a, listens to fucking you two a rave I was in the say, ball i've would never be listened sick. to them what i've never listened to you two i listened to sunday bloody sunday that, that was it i think that's yeah bloody sunday that's it nothing else I don't know. I feel like they should have got somebody relevant for the halftime show. Who would you want? Who would I want or who do I think would be the smartest? Yeah, Taylor Swift. Taylor Swift would have been smart. It would have gone off. There's no she, way she could have done it. Yeah. She's in... She's in... She's, no, she's, she's, she's in Kong, L.A. Right? Oh, she just got here? Yeah, people have been tracking her flights. Yeah, let's... Oh, she's in L.A. She's supposed to be... Is that where they're playing yeah, the flight game? radar 24 yeah. I got in a fight about this last night. Wait, are they it's, playing... Are they playing They're in, playing in Vegas, but like she... Oh, it kinda, true, true, So true. it relates because people have been tracking Taylor Swift's flights, and the biggest concern is that she is using her private jet way too often, mm -hmm. and obviously the carbon emissions is not good for the environment, and she's killing the fucking planet. Um, one of the things that people have been talking about is... Um, I'm going to get us canceled with my take right now. Keep talking. I'm doing the camera. Oh. One of the things that people have been talking about is how she's taking like 13-minute flights from different cities, but that's false. That uh, that flight was hers. I mm -hmm. mean, that plane was hers, but so she sold it, it. Oh, really? to a millionaire. Of I don't know how true this is, but I know I screenshotted it. So it's not it. her plane anymore. Yeah, the one that's like taking like thirteen minute flights between like Missouri mm -hmm. isn't hers anymore. Um, it's uh, owned by Mark Travis. Okay. Owner of CarShield.com. Based in St. Peter's, Missouri. So he's like seen taking like 13 minute flights between like Missouri and Chicago. So people think that's hers. And then obviously, whenever there's drama with Taylor Swift, Swifties come to defend her. Okay. And they were like, you know what? You guys are pulling out her flight logs. Well, guess what? For 2023, she wasn't even listed in the top 10 emissions of carbon. Okay. So it was a list of people like, Travis Scott. When you say emissions and carbon doesn't give you an asthma attack or what? <laughs> no, keep going. It was uh, like Travis Scott, Kim Kardashian, Elon Musk, Beyonce and Jay-Z. Um, I have the list. I screenshotted it. So basically, but then I heard that she started suing some kid because he was the one who tracks the flight logs. We'll get logs. to that. Okay. 
Jump ahead one more fucking time. No, because I got in a fight about this last night with my friends. You got into a fight about it? We got into an argument got into a about, flight about, about it. We got into a flight about it. Yeah, we got into a little flight. We got into a fight. We were... I'm cold. Are you cold? Why don't you put, Maybe your put on your no. put on your fucking shirt. principle. Okay. Uh the deal is we were talking about Can I it. talk about my list? Yeah, do your list, do your list. Sorry. I was just I was bantering while you were pulling up your list. Oh. I had it open. Okay. So number one, Travis Scott. Number two, Kim Kardashian. Three, Elon Musk. Four, Beyonce and Jay-Z. Uh, five, Bill Gates. Six, Steven Spielberg. Uh, seven, Tyler Perry. Eight. Perry, oh, you mean? What did I say? Perry. <laughs> Perry. Yeah, she's barely breathing. Dog. <laughs> <laughs> Let me live. Uh, Leonard, eight is Leonard Blav- Blavatnik. I don't know who the hell that is. Nine, Kylie Jenner. Ten, Celine Dion. And uh, Travis Scott had 137 flights. She let Celine Dion on on her flight. I found out Celine Dion had stiff body, whatever. <laughs> and I think it's the stupidest <laughs> oh name for God. a disease ever, dude. Oh, body. Look, she has stiff body syndrome. Dude, people got mad at Taylor Swift for hugging Celine Dion because she has that syndrome. And okay. they're like, she's in like, pain. Well, I don't, but wh- my, my big issue is why don't we have a better name for it? Something more medical than stiff body syndrome. I got stiff body syndrome. You don't got, you're just old. You're just, all, you are stiff. You don't have stiff body syndrome. It's a neurological disorder in which like it, you get like spasms, but it's just, it's basically a lock jaw for your whole body. That sucks. That's not fun. That's insane. I don't want stiff body syndrome. No, you don't want it. But don't the, want it. people have been talking about her flights a lot in recent times because Apparently, apparently. Sorry, sorry. I had a moment. Yeah, keep going. This is gonna be the best episode of the podcast. I can already tell. Yeah, I'm, I already. I'm, I'm thinking of the thumbnail. We killed Frogan. <laughs> I'm trying to chug along right no, now. You're doing great. You're doing great. Um, so apparently, her lawyer sent a cease and desist to this person that runs a Twitter account that tracks all flights. Um, so like, let's say her flight from Tokyo to LA that she landed on Saturday at 4 PM. Uh, Pacific, How do you know that? Cause people were posting about it on TikTok. Mm. You seem to be the problem. I don't give a fuck about where she's flying, but people are like, she landed. She's going to make it to the Super Bowl to watch Travis hit her bean. Okay. Do what to her bean? No. <laughs> <laughs> you hear that? Yeah, you hear that too, they, right? they call it Taylor Swift. They're like small bean. Like it's fucking cringe millennial shit. Oh, yo, is okay. Who, I thought they were talking about something who else. Are the fans of nobody's Taylor Swift flicking the bean. Is, is okay. I winked at the camera. I also winked. At <laughs> yeah, the camera. Did we both winked at the camera. We okay, hold so, on. <laughs> no, stop! You're gonna have an asthma attack. Yeah, don't, do don't, 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 don't flick the bean, dog. You're gonna, uh, you're gonna. <laughs> anyways, so the deal is. Can I ask you a question about Taylor Swift fans? I think you're ask me a question about Flicky the Bee. Are they Gen Z? No, I'm not going to ask you a question about Flicky the Bee. <laughs> I was like, I don't have any what real about experience me? about that. Pass. <laughs> Stop. Your yeah, body, you, your ghost fucking, is leaving your body. I dude, can't I'm not going to lie. <laughs> you're saying, I can see the, the, the smoke of your soul coming out of your body. Yeah, dude. <laughs> What's taking Scoot so goddamn long with this? Oh, is he locked outside? <laughs> He's bro- <laughs> Did it? <laughs> <laughs> Because he, he hasn't tried to contact me. <laughs> Is he locked outside? We're in a secured facility and Scooters cannot get back in. Yeah. Oh, oopsies. Uh, so the deal is, here's the question I have for you, Frogan. <laughs> no, he's not locked outside. He's okay. not calling me. He's not calling me. Okay. Uh, are Swifties millennials or Gen Zers? Millennials. Oh, it's all millennials? Then fuck Swifties. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I'm going to be honest. Can I tell you why? That hurt my feelings a little. Okay. You're not a Swiftie. I'm not a Swiftie, but I'm a millennial. Yeah, we're barely. Okay, as a, as an elder millennial, you're one with him though. As an elder millennial, okay, I'm gonna be honest with the Swifties. Okay, mm-hmm. I am so sick of them, but I don't. Is she? Why is she so? Here's a question: Why is she so relevant right now? Why is everyone so Taylor? I don't Swift know what code? the fuck happened, but I feel like okay for me, I started liking Taylor Swift a lot more in 2020. Yeah, whenever she released the album during COVID, and I feel like a lot of people got into her as well around then too. She's always had good music, to be honest. Yeah, though. like her music is good, but. Um, back to the flights. So basically her lawyer sent a cease and desist. <laughs> what? Yeah, fuck what you were saying, Capri. Back I just wanted to, to know. I mean, yeah, fuck this knows. conversation. Let's talk about the flights. <laughs> <laughs> I'm scared of Swifties. They'll fuck you up. Will they? Yeah, they're yeah. like the K-pop of millennials. Swifties, can you put, if you are a Swiftie, can you put your, uh, why, why and your age and your location down below? Don't. Please. 
I was going to say don't. Don't. Are you sure you're having an asthma attack or are you just hungry? I'm not even hungry. That was what like- if you're having a fart attack? Yeah, what if your constipation is finally coming back up, but like the wrong side? No, dude, my chest feels tight. I'm good. But uh, what I was saying is like Swifties, I think a lot of them are fucking liars. About what? How long they've liked her as fans. Oh, like they're they're fresh to Taylor Swift. Because mm-hmm. you'll see mother, like there's a Jubilee video that just came out. Yeah, I saw it. Is it, did it isn't it insane? Like the ending was fucking crazy. Well, I called it. You did? They did. I called it immediately. I, I, I clocked it. I was like, nah. And me too. I said the person that was a fake. It was like six real Swifties, one fake one. Mm. And are you ready? Yeah. The fake one was a punk like yeah, you. Yeah, fake one was a punk like you. <laughs> I could tell right away. I was like, now nah. I was like, you this look one. too. You look too punk to be a Swifty. He so whatever the reveal happened, um, he dunked on every fucking person. He's like, I don't, I don't hate Taylor Swift. Yeah, this was good. He's like, I don't hate Taylor Swift, but I don't like how she's not using her pa- platform to talk yes! about Palestine. Yes! Yeah, that's exactly my fucking problem. Okay, I got in a fucking argument about this last night. And every someone said this, I'm fucking mad. Okay, sorry. If your eardrums were blown out, I'm sorry. Listen to this. This is the thing. Small content creators, small creators, okay? They mm-hmm. can't use the platform to talk. If you are like, hey, I'll get fired. I'll do this. I'll, you know, It'll ruin my life if I talk about Palestine, right? Everyone goes, not everyone has to talk about it. I'm like, yes, but you're a fucking billionaire. You are not a small little person who's just making some songs on your fucking radio anymore. You are a billionaire. You can sway the minds of fucking millennials. You have a duty to stop people being fucking killed. And you're sitting there and being like, oh, he's calling. Hello. We're listening to Scoot call. Did you ask? They need a prescription for the inhaler is what's going on right now. So we just got to go. No, it's fine. What if I punch you in the chest? Will that regulate no, it? it's not fine. Let's go. Let's go. And then it's we. Not, I'll DoorDash one. I found it on DoorDash. If I went on DoorDash and you had Scoot run all the way to CVS. I, I mean, I, <laughs> I, 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 I mean, I thought you would just run to the one next to us and then come back. Oh, which one did he go to? There's like seven. He said he went to three. Oh, he went to three different ones? Yeah. That explains why he's taking so long. Why didn't you take my car? <laughs> what did he say? <laughs> What'd he say? Listen, I didn't want I didn't want Frogan to die, okay? That's true. He could have just taken my car. Hey, I didn't think about a car. I'm faster than your car. Thank you. You're not faster than my fucking car. Sorry for the I'm derailing. Fa- I am guys. faster than your Raph, don't test me. I fought a white woman today and won. You fought a white woman? I fought a Karen. What do you mean? I was like trying I was like trying to get in line for the pharmacy and like this sure. woman like I'll tried to inch double time. This this woman tried to inch in front of me and I'm like, no. Not today. My friend Frogan is dying. <laughs> <laughs> Scootish, while we're ordering this, can you tell the story about how you found your AirPod Maxes? Why would I? Why don't you wait no, for me to get there? He doesn't. It's all good. He doesn't need to say it right now. We're okay, good. That's fine. that's fine. They're ordering. We're talking about Taylor Swift. Uh, Capri went on a rant, um, and then you called. Okay. Oh, you it. know. Okay. 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 Right, I'll, I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye. Taylor Swift. Yeah. What were we talking about? Uh, so Capri was upset because she's not using her platform to talk about the genocide. Yeah, I am upset. I don't understand. Okay, the deal is people act like Taylor Swift is this, like, small creator that, like, oh, you know, it's not a big deal. Like, she doesn't need to talk about it. They make every excuse. And I'm like, dog, when you're that big and you have that much money, this isn't like a – this isn't like a – um, what's it called? It's not something that, like – you're not a small like there's people who are like it will ruin my career okay but you you've made a billion dollars how much money is enough at what point like why do we not criticize her like we criticize all other billionaires also how does that ruin your career i mean everyone you're, right you're, you're, you have you're, and she's and people are like well she doesn't talk about politics yeah bro yes, yes she, she does. does she does she, does. She's, she hates trump Okay, so when you're when you're not when you're being silent on this, all it tells me is that listen, this is what I tell people all the time. But this isn't even a political issue; it's a social issue. You need to mm-hmm. you need to. But here's here's the other thing, dude. What white women want to listen to Taylor Swift, right? Yeah. Okay, I don't want to listen to someone who uh-huh. thinks that I shouldn't exist. And and people go, oh, you have the luxury. I'm Palestinian. White people have the luxury 
of being able to listen to something like that and not and knowing in their head that like oh it doesn't affect me because she likes me but yeah. if i n- know that you talk bad about trump or you talk bad about all these other things and then all of a sudden you're silent on the issue of palestine it makes me feel like dude that we are funding this we're not talking about it mm-hmm. this is now becoming like more and more every day clearer and clearer that this is a genocide now that they're evacu- they're telling them to evacuate the evacuation zone yeah go where i don't understand and then you you have a billion dollars and you're like I'm just not going to risk my career. Fuck you. Fuck your career. I don't care. I know Swifties are crazy. I understand. But at the end of the day, think about it from my perspective. Think about it from my perspective as a Palestinian. I have to listen to it and be like, oh, this person probably doesn't think I should exist. And the thing is, like, she's been paparazzied at um, Palestine charity events. That's cool. But she's never said anything outwardly. But in the Jubilee video, mm. remember, like the whenever the punk brought it up, they got mad. They did get mad. They were like, "Yeah, it was insane." They were they were getting mad about like, "Why would you bring this up?" Like, it's very like pert. Like, that's not because this is our. What are you this doing? This is our Vietnam. Yeah, this is our Vietnam. In the when Vietnam our, happened, yeah, it's our Vietnam. It is our it's Vietnam. When Vietnam, it. everyone protested. Everyone was like, "This is fucked up. What we're doing is bad." celebrities would talk about it when they did the award shows mm-hmm. people would bring it up i mean this is our vietnam we are doing this genocide mm-hmm. we are doing this in 4k so the fact of the matter is like to say like oh it's not us you know blah blah why would we even talk about it? i don't care the, like my friend last night was arguing with me he was like well she doesn't need to like maybe she doesn't have the time to learn about it i was like you're a fucking billionaire you can what's hire a whole I mean, crew like, what's it gonna take for us to like deploy in israel and then lose to palestine but that's what i'm saying and then it'd be like we'll have a whole vietnam situation all over again we're like in the we're in the midst of like not being being able to not repeat history for the first time yes it's been months at this point of it being in media like there's literally no excuse at this point like it's just Silence. not. Gonna, it's just not gonna happen. KSI did the same thing. He was like, oh, I just don't know. I'm like, bro, you're not dumb, KSI. Like, don't act like you're dumb. Yeah, I you're mean, Krishan was like, it's happening because they don't believe in Jesus. It's like, Krishan. Yeah. Yes. Welcome, welcome to the club. I believe in Jesus, when and they're the still killing she was us. Fucking relevant. <laughs> Who's Krishan? Rapper. Okay. I mean, she's relevant because she had Blueface's baby, and everyone thinks it has like a. Chris, Christian, Krishan. Yeah. Dude, you know people who, who bring religion into it are really well, she, annoying. I'm she, also she checking just fucking keep deadlifting like, and stop fucking talking about yeah, politics. Yeah, but she's. Fuck her. But yeah, at this point, like silence is complacent to the oppressor. But yeah, like basically, I just you know, and it's not like we're we're not we're it's not like we're saying like oh Taylor Swift has to be the only one to do it. We're trying to say all we're holding all celebrities to that regard. Yeah. Here's the thing though, like she's like the forefront of AI policy now because of the AI pictures that yes. came out recently. Mm-hmm. So. They saw what happened to her, mm-hmm. and now she's the face of policy. Right. So she can sway. And I saw a clip yes. from Fear And on TikTok the other day about Hassan was like, I genuinely feel like Taylor Swift probably could sway um, the sense. Biden administration yeah. 100%. into yes. a ceasefire yes. if she said that she would endorse him. You know what would have been sick? Taylor Swift Super Bowl, she's like free Palestine. Just air oh, air. if that shit. happened and we look like idiots, I will take it. I'll be like, yeah. you know what? I'll give you, I'll give you a hundred bucks. Yeah, you know, like it's from the <laughs> you last owe me hundred bucks. No, you'll give me a hundred dollars. No, 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 no. You owe you owe me a hundred bucks. I so can't, I, don't I can't I'm, afford the hundred dollars because we broke a lens. L- Fuck. <laughs> yeah, but it's your lens. True. I had to buy another one. Yeah. Uh, it's gonna be thirty minutes for the inhaler. Is that okay? Okay. Are you sure? I'm chilling. Yeah, it'll be here by the time this podcast ends. <laughs> yeah, that sucks. Um, but anyways, yeah, that's I, I again, like I understand, like I get all the excuses, but you tweeted something smart, and I think that it's one of those things that I like a lot of people that I criticize. Okay, mm-hmm. I do like a lot of people and a lot of like creators that I criticize, and I'm like, I don't like what you did there. Doesn't mean that you have to be like fuck Taylor Swift, whatever. I, I'm joking when I'm saying like fuck Taylor Swift. You got that from the Jubilee video. You pulled that from a Jubilee video. Yeah, that punk kid said it. He said, "I think I think I, I can like Taylor Swift. I can like so and so." I'll tell you exactly. I love Taylor tell me, Swift. Yeah, tell me. You can like these people. You can criticize the people. Also, that you I've like. been a fan of her since she dropped Trouble and someone remixed it with a goat. <laughs> <laughs> I tweeted. I said the Jubilee Swifty video. Sh- oh fuck me. The Jubilee Swifty video just shows the lack of accountability stan culture has when it comes to speaking up about injustices when you're so intertwined in being a fan. You can criticize the people you like. 
Yeah, people were yeah. mad at you about that tweet too. They yeah, were mad at you. Yeah, they're like, "Why don't you criticize Hassan?" We do. I I've literally Hassan and I do. have gone into it multiple times about things I've disagreed with him on. I think that people don't understand that if you can DM someone criticizing them publicly, all it, it doesn't does make is fucking sense. Exactly, it, it just bolster your platform. That's yeah, like dude. It, all you're doing there. I just want to let you know, you fucking idiots. If someone is doing this publicly when they can fucking DM the person, they're just doing it to make you watch and get clout. They're exactly. not doing it because they actually care about the position. Right. And, and when I've disagreed with Hassan on things, I've messaged him in DMs. Like, I'm not going to be like, oh, yeah, we disagreed on this, this, and this, and this. And they fight. And I don't know Hassan, <laughs> so I've, I've criticized them publicly because I don't fucking know him. But I'm not doing it to his face because I don't have fucking DMs open. You know, but she does. So she's like, hey, I don't agree with you on this. It's dumb, but they're like, yeah. why don't you criticize Hassan then? You, the Openly criticizing when you have somebody's DMs is... It's insane. It's insane. It's insane. It's literally like if I could fucking DM you, mm -hmm. I would DM you in a heartbeat. Be like, hey, man, I don't fucking like this. This is weird, blah, blah. Unless you're like like very distant, you follow them on like a, a platform, you don't really know them well. But when you're communicating with someone, you're like, I don't yeah. fucking agree with this. You know, mm -hmm. you could say like, I didn't agree and I messaged him about it. That's it. Mm -hmm. But it, when you're going on tirades, you're doing it for clout. Right. You exactly. Know? 100%. Unless it's something that they did something so egregious that you're like, I can't stand by, you know, but if it's like minutia of let's say it's a two state versus one state solution, well, you're going to fucking do it publicly. You're doing it just for fucking debate right. bro shit. You're doing it to get clout. Right. You know? But back to the flights. Uh, apparently, her team put out a lawsuit uh, to this person that has multiple accounts tracking various private jet flights. Elon Musk offered to pay them $5,000 to take his down before. And then I think he ended up just suspending the account. And then they just made a new one. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah. <laughs> he tracks billionaires. By the way, the account just tracks all billionaires' flight logs. And she mm -hmm. is a billionaire. She's worth $1.1 billion. Yeah. Yeah. So... There's no ethical billionaire, in my opinion, to be honest. Yeah. Oh, my God. In, in the Jubilee video, they're they like, said that. Yeah. In the Jubilee video. The punk no person said that. Bro, you're punk. There is no. Scootish is back. Hey, welcome back, buddy. Thank you for. Thank you for. Thank you, Scooter. Thank you for running, dude. I appreciate you. Thank you, Scooter. You're, you're a legend, dude. dude. You're a legend. There hey, is I just, uh, just for you, we have seven minutes left on yeah, the. Bad, yeah. Cool. Um, But they're like, we should. It is. We should donate. She should donate her money. To keep her under a billion dollars. I'm like, you fucking idiot. It doesn't work that way. No, there is no... There's Donate no, her money? No, because then she just gets that money there's back. No, if, I have a question. Breaks. If my house was paid off yeah. and I had $50 million in the bank, yeah. I, would, I, I don't know what I would do with the rest of my money. I don't think I would c continue to accumulate it. I think I would be like, either give it away. I would, I'd probably use it to fucking sway policy, to ba basically tax people or something. But after fifty million to hundred million, I know people are like lifestyle inflation. You want to employ people. I, I I understand that, but like no, like no, dude. Like at what point do you say something? At what point do you change? There's just no ethical billionaire, because the way that you've acquired that wealth is through someone else not acquiring that wealth, right? Right. Someone else is working for you to acquire that wealth. Not everyone on your team is making money. That's why there's some corporations that I think is pretty fucking base that they pay like the entire staff the same that they pay the ceo right you know i don't think that you need to do that necessarily i think that you could you know you could you could be I don't rich know how i feel about that to be you honest. could you could be rich right you can make millions but when you're at a billion it's like an insane amount of money yeah you a, don't need that much you can lose a hundred million tomorrow as a billionaire and it wouldn't phase you if i lost fucking a hundred dollars tomorrow i'd be like god damn i can't even go fuck dude what, what happened to that hundred i'd be looking around this fucking office dude. right she could lose a million and be like It'd right, be, you know. I mean, she earns like six million dollars a show. I think mm -hmm. there's just no, there's just no ethical billionaires. The fact of the matter is that you need to hold billionaires to a standard. I understand Swifties that you love her; she's amazing, all this stuff. But there will be a time where you look back and you go, "Oh, I don't really listen to Taylor Swift that much." It's just like you know, think about if something was happening to your race of people, a genocide was happening to your race of people, and your favorite celebrity wasn't speaking out about it. It makes it would, it would make you upset. It makes just, me feel the, the thing is, is people don't see it through the lens of our worldview. They don't just they don't. It's everybody is so one sided. This is how everything is. It's not maybe or like, oh, I can see how it's very much. No, there's no there's no leniency for other people. And that's just kind of how it is on that side. It is a very weird feeling that like the other day only fans got canceled. Right. For what? For donating to uh, Israel. Did they? Yeah. Well, 
not on OnlyFans anymore. Okay, so, Great. So Can't the, subscribe anymore. So the deal is like Starbucks, mm-hmm. McDonald's, all these corporations. But when OnlyFans happened, I literally tweeted. I was like, yeah, I bet. Oh, let's see how many people fucking boycott this. And people were mad at me. People mm-hmm. were like, oh, dude, this is my job, blah, blah. And I'm like, I get it. There's no ethical consumption under capitalism. You cannot just boycott six companies because like as someone who's Palestinian, I have known my entire life, all of the companies up until recently were Zionist. Mm-hmm. And the Zionist agenda is that we don't exist. So when you have an entire group of people donating to Israel, giving all this money and then saying like, you don't exist, it fucks with you, dude. Like you grow up in this world where you're like, you don't exist. You're a piece of shit. You're a terrorist that you want me to go bob my head to fucking Taylor Swift and be like, you know, and I'm not saying that's just about Taylor Swift. I'm saying it about everyone. Right. But she is a smart person. She is a billionaire. She's also a a liberal. You know, she hated Trump and she's in a unique position to change policy. And at some point she should say something. That's it. That's all I'm saying. If she just tweeted a fucking watermelon, it'd be crazy. And the fact that she's like, well, maybe I don't want to say something. Well, every other celebrity at this point has said something. Yeah, everyone has. We everyone literally has. went to the, we, when we once saw neck deep, they literally were at the end was like free Palestine. And if I was Usher right now at the fucking halftime show, I would do something about I would Palestine. be like free Palestine. I would do like just the He's colors. not going to. Nobody's he might. going to because it's all if we're wrong, cool. I'd be fucking happy. And I'd be like, dude, I'll oh, take yeah, the I'd L. be happy if you I'm wrong something. all the time. I'm a fucking idiot. I make mistakes. You know, mm-hmm. I'm a human being. Human beings makes for I'm not a political pundit, you know. That's why I think political pundits are kind of stupid, also like talking about politics all the time because you're gonna get shit wrong. Right. You know, like you're really gonna get shit wrong. But that's the fact is that like I really think that um I don't like I, I I'm scared of the Swifties, you know. I don't like them, that they're, they're freaky, but at the end of the day, it's kinda like I'm with them. I just would like, you know, I would just be like, hey man, it'd be cool if you're fucking your your god, your god, you know. <laughs> Would fucking bless me with some fucking with some fucking humanity, you know? Are you doing okay? I'm good. Are you struggling? I'm good. That's a that's a yes, by the way. She's that's struggling. A, she is struggling. What about the flight logs? Was that everything about the flight logs? Yeah. So basically, they're just trying to like deter um, the the accountability she has onto other celebrities. But like, I feel like everybody that has a private jet, like with that many emissions, should be criticized. Like, I don't think it should just be like, oh. Well, Taylor Swift does it. Well, let's hear the list of these other billionaires. It's just like, yeah, I think that's a what I think about some it, study or mm-hmm. something came out about she doesn't really fly that much, anyways. She rents out her plane to a bunch of other people. I don't know how true that is, but I also read today this morning. I'm not sure how true this is either. Mm-hmm. That if the flights are under 200 miles, they don't record it into the carbon emissions. Uh, the whole carbon emission shit is like the whole system is bullshit. Like mm-hmm. it's it's made by the fucking carbon companies to fucking basically be like, oh, you know, we're doing it's 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 we're all doing our due diligence. We're doing our due diligence. No, you're not. No, you're not. You know, due diligence is that we don't need private jets. Right. You don't need a fucking jet for one person. Mm-hmm. Like, I don't care how rich right. you are. But I mean, like Taylor Swift's going to what fly fucking first class. She's going to fly coach. Coach, you think so? Yeah. Dude, but all the memes that have come out of it, this is so funny. Uh, on TikTok, it's like whenever Taylor Swift needs to get something from the other room and it just shows like a jet. Uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I think that, that I think that, that criticism of the jet. That's pretty funny. I think that I agree with you. The, dude, you, you're not going to have like one of the most famous people get on a fucking plane. It'll fuck up the airport. You know, mm. it's tough. Like that's the other part of it is like. The airport's going to be like, well, we're going to staff 30 fucking additional people every fucking time she has to go take a flight, you know? I wish we didn't live in a world of stand culture, so I understand that, like, her getting around, putting her on a fucking coach, like, with all the other people, it'll be crazy. Although my dad one time sat next to Pierce Brosnan in, in first class. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, and it was, like, when he was Bond, and he was chill. He also sat next to, like, Catherine Zeta-Jones one time on a plane. That's pretty chill. He he pissed her off. Oh, he did? <laughs> yeah. What do you do? They were being loud and they were being drunk. I love you. She turned around and she's like, can you shut the fuck up? What was she in? And he's like, I love you. You're Lebanese. Lebanese, isn't she? Yeah, I think she's Lebanese. I think she's some sort of Arab. Some, some, some. Uh, some. That's crazy. I I hope the, I hope that something cool happens at the Super Bowl today. And I hope that everyone who's, uh, who's listening can can tell us in the comments why, why we are wrong. Uh, What are we at, Scoot, right now? Uh, just keep talking. Oh, okay. I just want to know. know how long we were. Uh, I wanted to talk about my topic. I bought something. What'd you buy? Okay. Something really cool. This is the Apple Vision Pro. 
Okay. Mm -hmm. I bought the Apple Vision Pro because you look like a spider. I don't look like a spider. <laughs> you look like a spider. Okay, this is not the Apple Vision Pro. This is the Quest 3, which Can is 500 What are you doing to my tits? <laughs> Just hold on. Let me <laughs> grab Stop you. Stop grabbing me. Hold on. The Apple Vision Pro came out, and I've been watching all the memes of people who've been playing on it, and they've been driving in their fucking Tesla, playing with the apps on the Vision Pro. Okay? Oh, I don't like that at all. Okay. It's insane. And then people have been walking around in the city with the Vision Pro, but it is like $3,500. When it came out, I knew... That the only people who would buy it you are look like a fucking idiot. I'm right doing stuff. <laughs> okay, like I couldn't idiot. afford the thirty five hundred dollar one, so we have the five hundred dollar one. Right now, he's finding. Is the he actually like porn. touching? I am touching stuff. I'm touching someone. I don't think you are touching anybody right now. Oh my god, I'm making love. I'm making <laughs> love. Okay, this is gross. It is gross. So, anyways, so the Apple Vision Pro came out. Okay. And everyone's been like super excited about it. If it's you just put a VR. job over that, you would look the way Frogan looks when she puts her hair in. No, I would look like one of those Star Wars characters. You know, because the comb. Man, shut up. Look, I'm serious. Look. Tell me I'm wrong. I look swear at the to back gosh. of his head. Oh, I'm squeezing your brain. Okay, but the Vision Pro came out. I can see you guys, by the way. <laughs> I know you can. <laughs> okay. You see our disgust on our <laughs> face? Giraffes, can you put little eyes right here so I look like I'm. Nope. I have, no, we don't do animation. No, can you put the anime blushy eyes? The, the gotcha eyes? Like a. Yeah, Let's stare at your. Cl there you go. All right, we got it. So, anyways, so the Vision Pro came out, mm -hmm. and the Vision Pro is basically just a VR headset. Apple, it's for Apple's first like flagship software in a long time. Yeah, I am a VR nut. I love VR. I have I've had every single VR headset. I bought the the original Vive Index, or I bought the original not the not the Valve Index. I'm sorry, the original HTC uh, Vive. Mm -hmm. Then I got the Index. Then I got the uh, Quest. I've had like nearly every VR headset. Apple ends up releasing their headset. No controllers. Yeah. No games. Okay. So you can't game on the Apple, which is shitty. So the only thing you could really do on it is you could uh, you could basically. Why did you do all that? Why did I put that on? No, but like why did you do all that stuff with your hands? I was just moving the menu so I could see you guys. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were going to show us something or some shit was going to happen. Was like, what do you think? I'm going to do magic? I don't know, dude. You were moving shit a lot. You I, were moving a lot of shit. I was just fiddling. Okay, hold on. You want me to play a game while I'm in here? No, I don't want you. I want you. No, I hate this. I, in the Patreon episode, if, if Frogan wasn't having a, uh, a death attack and we had to go somewhere, we would have played with this. Maybe in the next bonus content we'll do. But anyways, we're going to do yeah. it for bonus content. We'll do it. We'll film it later. Great. Anyways, so the deal is, the deal is, um, Frogan, can you please move your body out of the way? Thank you so much. I'm going to go into somewhere more immersive. Create a new boundary. Okay, just listen to me. <laughs> the Vision Pro came out. Yeah. And what Apple's trying to do and what all the companies are trying to do is they're going to try, they're trying to kill a smartphone. Right. But the tech isn't there yet. And Apple's like, this is going to be a computer. You wear it on your head. You're able to like, you know, do software, but there's not a killer app for it yet. Mm -hmm. All that the Apple Vision Pro is, is like a fucking iPad in your room. And I've heard from everyone that's like talking about it is that it looks amazing. It functions better. Like this thing kind of sucks when you're like trying to move stuff, but it does have like, this is the, this is the, the Quest 3. It has like all, um, it's color pass through. So I could see you guys in color. It's pretty cool because like you can play <laughs> games where like things come out of the wall and stuff. But on the Vision Pro, they're like, this is the best version of pass through. Pass through, what that means is basically like you put on the headset, but it still shows your room as if you're in the room. But it's just cameras in the front of the, the headset recording the room. So in the future, really what they want to get to is glasses you put on your face, you see your room, and then all of a sudden the screen will come up and you're not able to see and you can like move shit and have your computer. So you get rid of your cell phone. Instead of doing this, you, you live in the virtual world. Right. But the Vision Pro comes out, and I'm like, this sucks. Why are you going to spend $3,500? By, by the time you spend everything, you can get it up to four grand to basically put on a, a VR headset. There's no games for it. And the only thing that they have in there is like basically like – Giraffes, if you could show it. They have like these 3D models of your face where you can communicate with your friends. Oh, I saw that. But yeah. it's like a fake weird version. So it's like the uncanny valley happens because you can't really tell what it is. Mm -hmm. Uh. So it comes out and like the only thing I knew when it was coming out, I'm like, the only person who's going to buy this are fucking content creators because nobody else could afford it and they're going to make stupid content with it. And that's all people have been doing is like walking around the city with the Vision Pro on like it's and just like walking around and, uh, you know, wearing it so they could see in the front of it. There's eyes 
it's your eyes, but it's refilmed to the front. So they like take a, they scan your face. Uh, when you get the headset, it basically tells you to like scan your face like this. And then it scans your eyes and makes a 3D model of your eyes. And then it projects that on the screen in the front. So it looks like you're looking at people. Ew. But it looks like shit. Like in the, in the, in the, in the, like I'll, I'll show it here. But in the example that they, uh, they showed, it looks so good when they were like showing it off. But in real life, it's just this fucking blurry screen and the eyes sit like up here on your head. So it's like, I'm looking at you, but you're basically just in a VR headset. So I like kept thinking, I'm like, Who's this for? Like, who's buying this? And the only people who have bought it are content creators. And the fact is, like, for VR, it's like Apple's going to come out with a VR headset. There's no video games. And what are you going to do? Like, would you sit all day and, like, use a computer in a VR headset? No. It feels weird, right? Like, when I was talking to you with this, doesn't it feel fucking weird? Like, do you want to communicate with me right now? I'm in a fucking forest. No. In fact, seeing you in that makes me so mad. It's impo- It's like, it's crazy. That's. Stop. I grabbing shit. I'm grabbing stuff. Frogan, would you? <laughs> it makes would me you? so uncomfortable the way you you're because your hand's hovering over my where my penis is. Well, here's the here's the question I'm gonna have for you guys. Okay. What is the smartphone killer? What would be the thing that would get you out? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. suicide. You're jerking off. I'm not jerking off. <laughs> you're literally jerking me off. I'm not. I'm not jerking you off. I'm setting up my boundary. This is why you wanted me to take my shirt off. Also, there are games on the Apple Vision Pro. Oh, what are the games? 600 different ones. There's 600 different games. There's 600 different games? Yeah. But what kind of games are there? There's no controllers. No, there are. No. You connect your DualShock or your Xbox controller. So you play in, you play with an Xbox controller, but what, what, but what are the games? Like, are you in the world? I mean, yeah. There's 600 games on the Vision Pro? Yeah, there's, there's like... Apple Arcade games, like, the, there's a new Cut the Rope, new Super Fruit Ninja. Yeah, that's not games, dude. No, you can also play okay, Baldur's well, Gate 3. Okay, that's not, that's that's not VR. Yeah, but that's not, dude, you guys are... I'm getting one. That I'm is, getting an Apple. That you is, want to fuck the that's, that's, my, that's all my savings. I'll no, get one. That, but that's the big difference. It's not... Apple's been very clear. It's not VR. It's AR. It's augmented reality. So you're going to play Fruit Ninja instead of on your iPad. You're going to play it in your whole... You need your whole fucking room to play Fruit Ninja? I... You're getting AR and VR confused. I understand what what Apple's trying to do. They're trying to do AR, but they have a headset that you put on your face. Right. It's no, not no, there I, yet. It's not there no, yet. No, I agree with you. So, so the thing is with the Apple headset, it's just really not there. So everyone is trying to get rid of the smartphone. The okay. only thing that I think is pretty cool that I've seen that's like trying to get rid of this, because people, I, personally, I'm sick of staring at this thing. I personally like would then love. Then don't. Yeah. I mean, I throw it away. And but the thing is, like, I'm personally just sick of staring at it. But like, I think that the future is probably not AR. The future is probably something that's like a virtual assistant. Like, have you seen the rabbit thing that's coming out? It's just a red box that you carry, and it's like a virtual assistant. It's been like advertised to me. I don't know if it's gonna. Be, it's probably gonna be a like. It may be a scam. We don't know, but it could be really cool. Uh huh. It's just like a little thing you talk into and it. You say like, book me an Uber home, and also order me chicken wings to the house. And it will do it for you. And it does everything. It pays for you. It does everything. Why? I have a phone. No, no, no. But it's like a virtual assistant. It'd be like... But I have an iPhone. Tell my mom I love her. Yeah, but I have an iPhone. Frogan's dying. Hey, Siri. They're almost Tell my here. mom I love her. Are we at the... Uh, are we... They're almost here. Do you, okay. I did it. Send. Thank you. Tell your mom I love. It's not what I'm saying. I'm saying it's not like that. Okay, I'll show. But I just I just did it. So why Dra- do we need a red red rabbit to do that? I have a I have a silver one. No, in my it's hand. it's not a f- iPhone. It doesn't have anything. It's just like a little voice box. And you're like, order me chicken wings. Also, tell my mom I love her. Also, if you oh, could. Oh, so like I'm a cancer patient. <laughs> it's like order a virtual me. assistant. Order me. Do I put it in my throat? I don't like it. Is what I'm saying. I don't understand. I don't. Understand. We're making stupid technology. I don't understand why we have to create such dependency on technology now. Yeah, dude. It, I don't not- even know how to get here anymore without GPS. Oh my god, I tested that out the other. So I go to Target a lot, and I go to one Target, and the other day I like went there without a GPS. Did you do it? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't have. I have no sense of uh, GPS anymore. I know how to get Navigation. to your house without GPS. Really? Yeah. I don't like that. The last time I didn't use GPS, I ended up. Oh so now you can just show up, even if like you know. Tell me how to get to his house without GPS. I've never been. I mean, to his from house. my house, you it's, never invited it's me. It's literally 
yeah, one exit. All, can I ask you a question? It's for true. It is only one exit. <laughs> it's literally going straight. Yeah, yeah. Have you been in his house? Yeah. Yeah, a couple times. Cool. I've asked you, can I come over? You've always <laughs> you've said. never asked me. Yes, I have. The other day, someone you've was like, never someone, asked someone me. the other day was like, why don't you never go to Raps? That's really rude. And I was like, he's never invited me. Yeah. I don't invite people over the house. I don't think you understand. What am I going to do? Show up like Frogan, like a sick weirdo without GPS? No, she. we drive each other. So she came over and we, she came inside. I invited her inside the house like a, like a normal human being would do. I didn't say, hey, come over, Frogan. Let's hang out. I don't bring people over my house. There's nothing to do there. And also, I live with a murderer. Do you live with a murderer? <laughs> I live with a murderer. <laughs> you can't just I say heard. I, I'm just going to say it. I heard her practicing her... <laughs> what? <laughs> she was... She was, she's doing a Did she comedy watch this podcast. She, no, she doesn't even know it exists. She was, um, how do I even explain this? She got hired <laughs> to host a open mic in a library, which uh, by the way, the worst place to put host an open mic. What, what do you mean in the and she said, yes, but she's never what was done. The open mic like? Hold on. I'm telling you right now. <laughs> so she, so, but she's never done stand up. <laughs> I'm sorry. All I can think about is the open mic in the library. I'd be like, Shh. When, when I was younger, dude, it's a whole thing. So she, she was like, I, she was like, yeah, dude, I got hired to do an open mic. I said, yeah. I'm like, oh, did you ever? Have you ever done comedy? No, I've never done it before. Have you ever been to an open mic? A couple times. So then she started going to open mics to practice to like get. To like start practicing some comedy, and she's like, "I don't understand why people don't why people don't laugh at my jokes." Because you're in a fucking library, <laughs> they can't laugh. But this isn't in the library. This is just normal open mics in different bars. Okay, well then you're not funny. She's like, "I thought I could get away with just telling stories." I'm like, "No, just talk about that's, you that's like Tom because Segura you shit. are a walking f- piece of funny. Just do it. Just you in general." So anyway, she got hired. So I heard her practicing. She wrote she wrote what she was gonna do for Yeah. She wrote what she was gonna do for it. Wait, so hold I heard on, hold her that. rehearsing it. Hold she that. She did thought. it one hold time. Hold that thought. Mm-hmm. Before Frogan dies. Yeah. Uh we're gonna we're gonna conclude the episode here. If you guys wanna see the rest of the episode. No, bro, let him finish his fucking story. No, it's all good. No we're good. And we're good. Like in the- no, continue. Your, no. We're good. No, no. Fit, I'm, no. We're done. Continue your story right now. I'm not fucking recording a Patreon episode. Oh shit. So, anyways, I heard her. I heard her practicing. That was it. What did it sound like? No, that was that was honestly it. I was at the end of my story. <laughs> you just got mad at me because I'm trying to save your fucking life. I got mad at you his. because you cut him off. True. And I was interested in the story. True. <laughs> that was it. That was the end of the story. <laughs> you ruined his flow. He probably could have told us more. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna be honest, dude. She's she, she, she's dying. <laughs> Just she's take, dying. Your inhaler's here. We need to cut to the Patreon right now because I don't feel comfortable <laughs> anymore. Okay. If before, you want to see me use my inhaler on the Patreon, make sure you subscribe. If you want to know if Frogan lives or dies, because we don't know either, uh, we're ending this episode right here. This is concludes, guys. Please comment. It really helps the video go viral. Like, subscribe, comment if you think Frogan made it. We're gonna finish and wrap up our conversation on the Patreon. Uh, the Patreon links will be down below. Also, if you guys want to follow each and every one of us at Raffle Ticket, at Frogan, and at Capri Sun Poppy on all platforms, thank you so much. Uh, you guys are amazing, and we'll see you next week. Hopefully next week we won't have uh, someone have an asthma attack. It's not, you know, maybe, maybe, you know, maybe we will, maybe we won't. Anyways, all right, thank you guys. Bye. I don't have a problem with hentai just in general. Just but you can't sure. consensually have sex with a horse. There's no consensual way to fuck a yeah, horse. Yeah, they're always saying nay. Oh. <laughs> 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 <laughs>